Hey guys, I recently got into Warzone with friends who play across different platforms, however, I've been tearing my hair out about my in-game voice chat not working on PC and specifically during crossplay sessions. Uh, now, I've tried all the steps from adjusting in-game settings, window settings, Blizzard launcher settings, all to no avail. Thankfully, to today I happened upon a very easy fix that finally worked, so I'll be going through the recommended fix list first and brief for you here, but the fix for me can be found on this big old timestamp here. If you haven't tried any of those fixes yet, I recommend trying these few tips first before heading to the end. Step one is basically involving the in-game menus to ensure that we've got crossplay activated and that your voice feature is enabled. So click on options on the main menu and then click on the audio sub tab. We wanna scroll down to the voice chat subsection. Of course, first option being voice chat, we want to set to enabled. Voice chat device we can leave for the time being. However, activation mode we want to leave on open mic to ensure it's a smoother test for us. Open mic threshold, we want to place this to zero. Voice chat volume, we can place this to 400. And the microphone volume, we want to place to 400 as well. With finally, the voice chat effect being set to no effect. From here, you want to click on account and then you want to ensure that crossplay is enabled at the top for when we're matchmaking against our friends. Now, at this point, if you believe that that should have fixed the issue, you'd be able to see the speaker icon next to your username on the main menu there. If you have checked your in-game settings and sound is still not playing or your mic is still not being picked up, then we will next want to check out the Windows sound settings. From your Windows home screen, Right click on the speaker icon in the bottom right hand corner and click open sound settings. Here you can see the two different devices that are selected as your output and as your input. Now you can see that mine's working as you can see your test microphone level going up and down but you want to make sure that yours is selected both output and input from these two menus here. Following this we want to click on the right hand side on sound control panel. Here you'll be able to see a list of all of the playback and recording devices according to the tab that you have selected. So first and foremost, we have the playback device tab selected and we can see here that I actually have two devices enabled, which is an Astro wireless headset and a DAC that I've got connected to my computer. Now I listen through the DAC uh, for pretty much everything and only occasionally use the wireless headset. So I want to ensure that my DAC, my primary device here, is selected as both the default device and the default communication device. So if I right click on my DAC here, I can therefore set as default communication device. Also worth noting is there are conflicts that can occur between devices, even if they're not selected as the default device or default communication device. So I would personally recommend disabling any devices that you do not intend to use either temporarily or permanently. So to disable a device, right click and then click disable. Finally, you should be left with one device that is set to your default device and your default communication device. Head on over to the recording tab and make sure that it's the same situation over here that you do not have any duplicates uh, set up. Uh, you do not have any others enabled that it's your default device and your default communication device. Step three involves the Battle.net launcher. It's widely known that of course Call of Duty and Windows you can select the default devices but it's little known that the Battle.net launcher itself also has the option to select uh, voice chat uh, devices to communicate with. In the top left hand corner click on the drop down menu for Blizzard, click on settings and then click on the voice chat sub menu. Once again, here you can select the two devices that you want to operate as your output and input devices. And following steps one and two, these should all match up and be in parity with one another for your default devices in Windows and in game. You can do a quick microphone test here as well to be able to adjust the levels and see that you've got an open mic mode here as well. Finally, if you've been through the in-game fixes, the window fixes, and the battle.net 
launcher fixes and you're still having an issue it may be time to try this final solution which fixed the issue for me and i hope that it works for you as well it's not been widely reported on although i found a couple of articles and youtube videos on this subject many of them are just labeled with fixing in-game chat or something similar so i just wanted to make this more widely known thank you to jonathan roll the author of this particular article and of course to all of those that are spreading the good word Okay, so before we start this fix, I just wanted to say that steps one through three covered most of the major issues with Windows, with Battle.net Launcher and with in-game settings. So if you've not tried those yet, please do. It may be that the fix is within one of those. However, if all of those have failed, this may be the one for you. Before we can proceed, ensure that Modern Warfare and the Battle.net Launcher are completely closed. The fix involves clearing configuration files created during the first launch of the game, which are also referenced uh, when you open it each time. Confirming the game and launcher are closed, you can find the files in your documents folder, which is typically on your C drive. Now, most people will have a link to their documents folder on the left hand side. However, if you don't, I wanted to show you exactly how to get to it. Okay, so navigating through the C drive, we want to then click on users. Here you will see a list of users on the computer, so you want to select your own folder. We want to double click documents, and then we want to select Call of Duty Modern Warfare, before finally selecting the folder players. Within the folder, we are concerned about only one file, which is the ADV underscore options file. The rest of them we actually want to delete. Simply select them all and ensuring that you do not delete the ADV underscore options file and hit delete. We want to open the ADV underscore options file with any reputable text editor. So notepad plus plus, notepad, etc. Within the here, there's only one line that we're concerned with and that is the config cloud storage enabled. We want to Go ahead and select that to zero, hit file and save. If you want to double check, you can do, just open up the file again, make sure that the save has changed and then we're good to head back into the game. Now that we're finally back in the game, once you've configured the rest of your settings accordingly, we want to head to the main menu and double check that in the lobby we have the speaker icon next to our name. And would you look at that? It's a thing of beauty. You might want to double check to ensure that it's not enabled as push to talk, that your mic threshold is set accordingly and volumes. Apart from this, you should now be able to see the speaker icon activating when you're in the main menu. I hope that's helped you guys. It certainly helped me. It was a lot of frustration, but we got there in the end. Please like, share, subscribe, whatever it is that you need to do to get the word out. I'm sure there's others out there that need our help. Take care, guys.